I see my bed, my toys. Look closer. Someone's in there with you. It's my mother. Mom, is that you? I signed up thinking I could score some better pills. Not this shit. I'm sorry, I don't know you and I just want to watch. Oh, she didn't come here to make friends, I see. Got it. Enjoy the show, girl. She says she forgives me. Obviously, there's a lot of twists and turns in this piece. And going through the setting, um, just going through the setup, you're not entirely sure um, what the uh, sort of uh, rules around the setting and sort of the program and the characters, um, how it maintains. But I thought they were just um, interesting characters, especially uh, one of the early female lead. It was quite dynamic on screen. And I thought everyone was able to sort of um, encompass their role, um, including the the pseudo psychotherapist in a way that created a sort of moody intention filled um, piece that uh, eventually goes to, uh, goes to the um, obviously the computer simulation setup um, and the prison setup that is um, the ultimate uh, uh, pull of the piece. I thought the, the narrator sort of did a good job of building up to it and sort of trying to maintain a cerebral approach through the open to make it um, sort of uh, a mind game as, as implied uh, both as a cinematic experience and as a thematic um, experience. So I thought it was um, well done for those reasons. The person, whoever wrote this, whatever, like, they deeply understand that, like, as the writer specifically, but also just in general as a filmmaker, you have all the cards as far as all the information and how you choose to play your cards, what order you choose to play your cards can ultimately, like, impacts how the audience receives your film. I think, like, like so, the, so, so I say all that to say the I liked how intentional and, um, Specifically, where they were with, you know, how they revealed information in this film, and like for the maximum emotional impact. Um, I think that's good writing. It kept me guessing, kept me intrigued, kept me like wanting to know what happens next. Where's the next twist? Where's the next turn? This, that, and the third. So, and I think that makes a great fil- thriller. Like that's textbook right there. So I love a good mind-bending sci-fi story. Um, I thought the acting was really well done in this film. Um, we begin rooting for the three women in this film in the beginning, um, thinking that there was some part of a, uh, a part of some twisted experiment. Um, but in the end, when we are shown that they're actually murderers, um, I feel like we're still on their side, even at the end, um, which is interesting that the filmmakers made like could make us feel this way about three women who are in fact murderers. Um, most likely getting the just sentence that they deserve, and yet we still feel empathy for them, and we still feel like we're on their side at the end of this film. You can sense like anxiety, like paranoia, like from the performances of the actors, and like the story is well done, like to kind of like hiding like the puzzle, like the mystery behind the program as well, through uh, the portrayal of the actor who plays the doctor, and I feel like everything is pretty well done like from like the base like the story like the performances through um the camera works uh how to short like uh the scenes like how to pick like the settings so i feel like it's kind of good to make like a good thriller out of it